Oh, <laughs> you said it, Slither. Man, that guy's a riot. You know, I'm not gonna kill Slither this time. There's no, there's no reason to kill Slither, especially when it gives you super fast boosts. I'm going to try to beat Borderlands 1 because I said I was gonna beat it before the end of the year. Then I stopped playing it, but I gotta, I gotta keep a promise. Like Cortana said to Master Man, don't make a promise that you can't keep, especially if that promise is that you will have a Seagird video out by Christmas. Ha 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 ha. That didn't happen. So let's try to at least keep one promise, shall we? Let's try to at least maintain some shred. Some shred of cred. Ooh, shred of cred. Band name? It's not, it's not a very good band name. Who wants to be in my band, Shred of Cred? That sounds more like a song. That's like a song name, not really a band name. The Shreds of Creds? That could be something. If you pluralize it. I mean, Radiohead is a band name, so like Shred of Cred kind of rhymes with that. Shreds of Feds? Oh, there you go. That's much more violent. I'm already a founding member of Buttery Winthrop. That's true. A lot of people in Twitch chat already have a the next five years locked up on a buttery Winthrop's contract. Guess I gotta ask YouTube comments to be in shreds of creds with me. As a professional Borderlands-er, what is the biggest improvement of this edition of Borderlands 1? Uh, the quest markers, probably. That's about it. The gearbox guns are nice. It helps you kickstart your character, but also it kind of robs you of the early loot progression, which is like the most satisfying part usually. Because usually in a game that has like scaled loot and crap, like the, the first beginning where you go from like really like legitimately sucking to actually being good is like the most satisfying part and the higher level you get, the less exciting it becomes. So, you know, the gearbox guns kind of take away that entire aspect of the game. But I, I've experienced that aspect enough times. I can make do without if it means I get a really cool pistol. Hey, yeah, that skull, they added that cool skull. It was a very cool skull. Can't forget about that one. Oh, I need ammo. I got no bullets. Having bullets is necessary to win fights. They did add some memory leaks. It's a good feature. The best games get worse the more you play. Ain't that the truth? You ever done that one Skyrim achievement to get like a level 80 Skyrim guy? Holy crap. I did that. It is not fun. I would not recommend getting a max level Skyrim character to anybody. Once you're around like level 45 to 50 ish, you're supposed to stop. Like, you're supposed to stop playing Skyrim when you're like level like 40, 50. If you go higher than that, you're just, uh, that's just an affront to God right there. The divines will not smile upon you, friend, if you do that one. Especially if you had the difficulty on, like, an actual difficulty, like Master or Legendary. Oh my God, dude. Every single enemy is, like, Bandit, Super Duper Chief, Ebony Armor, Draugr, Death Lord. It's awful. I sure do love leveling speechcraft. Mm -hmm. At least they added prestige skills in Skyrim, so you don't have to level like every skill one time. Like it's not hard to get to level 80 in Skyrim if you just like go to one of the crafting exploits and do that. It's easy, it's just really boring. But if you actually do most of the content and get to level 80, you're gonna have a bad time. Is speech ever useful in Skyrim? Uh, gives you higher prices on stuff, which you don't need because you get infinite gold, basically. So basically, no. Makes Bellathor your best friend. Guy here, Janus Cobb. We're talking about Skyrim, not this one. That Fallout London mod looks pretty good. You guys see that trailer for that Fallout London mod? They say that's coming out in April. Do you believe that? Yeah, sure, it's coming out in April, and Oboshu's holiday special will be out by Christmas. Ha 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 ha. Liam streams about. Thank you, Liam streams about, for subscribing. 
Unfortunately, we never did find out what Liam streams about because his username was cut off by a character limit. Never said which Christmas, uh-huh. Yeah, it's coming out April 1st, hoo hoo. Yeah, that Fall London mod looks pretty good. I can't wait till uh, Sky Oblivion and Sky Wind and Beyond Skyrim and a million Fallout mods all come out at the same time as Elder Scrolls 6, and Elder Scrolls 6 is worse than all of them. That'll be good. Why did I not get in my car? Can't wait till Sky Oblivion comes out the same time as ES6, and ES6 sucks. Can't wait. Assuming Bethesda doesn't actually murder the mod devs. Well, they can't. I don't think they can now. They might have been able to get away with murdering the mod devs, like sending Agent 47 to their house. They might have been able to do that before, like, Fallout 76 came out and Starfield came out. But now they got no goodwill. All the Bethesda community goodwill is gone. They could have cashed in some of their community goodwill points to assassinate some mod developers, take care of the competition, but now they can't do that. They no longer have those cards to play. It's a holiday special. Valentine's Day is a holiday. Yeah, I can I can kick these goalposts forever. I should warn you about tennis. There is something strange about her. Marcus, I already met Tannis. I already met her. This on the PS3 is on the Sony PlayStation 1. I'm using the DualShock 1. Actually, isn't DualShock the... Is DualShock 1 the one with the sticks? I don't know. I don't know the nomenclature for the Sony controller names. Because are they only called DualShocks once sticks get added, or is it whether there's always DualShock? Like, is the one without sticks still a DualShock? Oh, I can't. This is not where I gotta go. I gotta go to Eric Frank's. What am I doing? This is the entirely wrong area. I'm never gonna beat this game. This game's too hard. Even with quest markers, I still get lost. That's why Skyrim is my favorite Elder Scroll. I haven't become a Morrow Boomer yet. I'm not a Morrowin Boomer. I have played Oblivion, though. I did finally get around to playing Oblivion. And after I beat Oblivion, I'm like, yeah, this game is probably... I'd say this game's probably better than Skyrim. I still think... I like Skyrim better, though. Skyrim's still my favorite, but after I played Oblivion, I'm like, oh, yeah, this, this, uh... This is probably a lot better in terms of, like, mechanics-wise. Skyrim pathfinding in action, don't get me started. I had to tell Adrienne Avenici to use the forge. I made her my follow. I'm like, hey, go use the forge. And she ran all the way up to like the center of the market, went around behind Bellathor's, and ran all the way along the city wall and came in behind her own shop and used the forge. Like, what are you doing, Adrienne? What are you thinking? Holding out for a walking sim of Skyrim in the Unreal Engine where it's realistic sized, and nah, that would suck. That would suck because there's nothing to do. The only reason that Death Stranding is good is because the walking around is actual game mechanic. In Elder Scrolls, there's no walking game mechanic. You just hit W and you go forward. It would just be nothing. I know you're probably just joking, but I, re I really don't think they need to make the world size of Elder Scrolls 6 that much bigger than the other ones. Like, maybe, like, a 1.5 or, like, 2 times Skyrim. Because people always are saying, like, oh, it's so dumb how in Skyrim everything's right next to each other. Oh, there's no blah, 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 blah. Like, dude, I don't want to... I If you don't want me to use the fast travel, I got to put the stuff that I can walk to it. I don't like using the fast travel. It's fun to not have fast travel. It's fun to walk around, but when everything's, like, 50 miles away from each other. I'm trying. Be cool if they integrated it into a real-life treadmill, yeah. Why did I run all the way back to New Haven instead of fast traveling? A lot of wise. A lot of unwise actions I'm noticing for myself today.
Hello there, my friend. Eric's Valuables. That's not worth it. That's not the main quest. I'm a main quest fan now. Don't have time to do every single side content. I do have time to do every single side content, but I want to beat the main quest content. Hey, you see my gun. Nah, sorry. Have you checked the vending machine right next to you? I mean, probably Marcus stole it from him. Let's be honest. Jack's other eye. Okay, we got that good one. Get those New Haven quests. I probably will do the New Haven quest, because why not? Let's see, if she give me anything good? Yeah, you're pretty good. Wait, are you pretty good? Yeah, it's corrosive. I'll keep it for the old Crimsons. Where'd that? Isn't this supposed to be a good one? The Sentinel? That's usually pretty good, right? Fire rate 98. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that one. Take that one off your hands, Helena. See you soon. Golden chest. Here we go, Randy. Give me some good, Randy. Give me some good, Randy. Oh, Randy, you shouldn't have shotguns. Jacob's shotgun. Come on, Randy. What a joke. Follow Randy on Twitter for more epic codes and nonsense. Keep the elephant gun. Gotta keep the elephant gun. It's important. Uh, do I have a better shield? I have a lot of shields. I've got some pangolins. Pangolins are a noob trap. That's not what you want. Uh, actually, I know it's a noob trap, but it's not that much worse. I think I won that one. All right, what is the main quest right now? It's still uh, the Janus Town thing, right? Yeah. I gotta go get ambushed. Don't tell them I know their ambush is coming. Nobody tell them. They'll be really upset. They spent all day planning this in the old scrapyard. Will you get the elephant gun? I have the elephant gun in the inventory. I just didn't want to sell it. I never sell the elephant gun in Borderlands 1, even though it's basically useless. Here comes the ambush. Look out. All right, Sentinel, let's try you out. You're usually pretty good. Yeah, it's a quality product. It's a quality Hyperion product from before Hyperion was yellow. Back when Hyperion was red and black. The classic bad guy color scheme. Thanks for the help, Shadow the Hedgehog gun. All right, Helena Pierce, there better be a good explanation for why I just got ambushed. There might be in the flavor text, I'll never know. I will never find out. Fresh fish. What am I using the fish for cover or some crap? Yeah, explosive sniper, gross. Did you want the next quest? You wanted it, right? Yeah. All right, back to the cob land. Back to the border cob. The cauldron. I forgot this is called the cauldron. Is this the future location of Sawtooth Cauldron? Is this like a Pikmin 1, Pikmin 2 scenario where the map is the same but different seasoned? You see Tannis, tell her to come see me in New Haven. Wherever she's getting her supplies, I know I can make her a better deal. No thanks, Marcus. I don't think she's interested. Although she does move to Sanctuary once Sanctuary 2 becomes a thing, so who knows. This is some really good quest design here by Gearbox. Some real uh, stunning quest design. Go to Janus Town, kill Janus, leave. Then go to Janus Town, kill Janus, and leave. Really good. Outstanding. Do you like that? 
Somebody must have really liked Janus down there. We gotta use Janus down twice, dude. Randy spent all night working on Janus Town. We gotta use Janus Town 25 times. Bring it on, Janus. I'm wary to your scheme. I always got turrets. I'm not wary to his scheme. I forgot. I'm unaware. Stay back. Bruiser, not a good time. Not a good time, Bruiser. Return at a different a different time. I can pencil you in. Where'd he go? This stupid rocket launcher. Here he is. Thinks he's all that. Killing me in one hit. I'll kill this guy in one hit. See? Told you. Whoa, he got a big backup. Uh-oh. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see right in front of you. Please kill him. You can do it, Mordecai. Oh, he ran away around the corner? Come on, man. Get back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jerk. Did they use the Halo no shield sound? Uh, I don't think it's exactly the same, but also it might be because Randy sucks. Because when Randy had that uh, display of all the games he's worked on, he put Halo 1 on that display, which, come on, dude. You made the PC port that people don't like. I mean, thanks for porting it to PC. That was really cool. Good job. But also, all the Gearbox multiplayer masks for Halo 1, those all suck. Like, they didn't understand why the game was good when they made those maps. Where did Janus go? Get back out here, Janus. I have corrosion, don't I? Don't I have corrosion on me? Get rid of this rocket turret. Except Timberlands? Nah, I'm not a fan. I gotta say I'm not a fan of that one. I'm sorry. I know some say it has its merits, but it don't have any merits. Zero merits. I got the rooster. Alright, time to face my greatest challenge. Time to face my greatest threat. Maybe Halo 1 PC port is where Randy first got his, uh... First got his idea to when he remasters a game to just like change like four things to make it just slightly worse. Like how this Borderlands remaster, they just randomly changed the angel to be like a crappier looking angel and like put her on the side of the screen for some reason, even though she'd look fine when she was in the middle. Yeah, we remastered the game and just pretty much for no reason we just made angel worse. I don't know why, we just did. <laughs> we didn't even, we didn't have to. There was no reason for us to do that. We just messed it up. You're welcome. All right, Claptrap, I'm ready to face my true challenge. The true challenge of Rack Hive is did you bring enough bullets to kill Rack Hive? I might buy some crit damage skill tree stuff for Rack Hive. I might do it. I can, I can be convinced depending on how little damage I'm doing. I can stick an electrode up my back paddle and call it paradise. I will comply with what you need. Then get out of my scan range. Prepare yourself. Your next challenge awaits. It might seem insurmountable, but you can do this. Yes, thank you, Eyeball. You will prevail. Mm -hmm. Not now, Claptrap. I'm talking to Claptrap. Can't you see? You must prepare yourself. You have come very far in your journey. We should gaslight YouTube viewers and thinking the Christmas video came out already. Yeah, did you guys did you guys like it? Did you guys like the uh, the Seagird Christmas video? It was pretty good. It was only live on the channel for three minutes. 
It was a little three minute video. So if you didn't if you didn't see it when it came out, it's not there anymore. It's time limited content. It's FOMO. It's a battle pass. It was a seasonal event. There we go. It was an Obo Shoes Channel seasonal event. If you missed it, it's gone. It's no longer there. It's on Daily Motion and Vimeo. Mm -hmm. If there was a video that like I was legit looking forward to for months, if I if someone like my favorite guy of all time was like making the greatest video of all time, but then when he posted it, he's like, "All right, guys, uh, slight th one one quick thing. It's only on Daily Motion. I probably wouldn't even watch it. I wouldn't even bother. Like if you told me a sequel to Pacific Rim, an actual good one, like not even a bad one, like a good one." That is everything I've ever wanted is gonna be on Vimeo. I'd be like, eh, it's on Vimeo though. Vimeo is kinda kinda lame. Alright, rack hive. Time for you to not rack survive. I got to level 100 in the Oboe Shoes 2's Battle Pass and got to watch the Seeger special. Yeah, it's actually locked behind the game time. You actually have to have 100 hours watched of Oboe Shoes 2's in order to access the video. I only watch things on Timu. Guys, Timu is real. All the ads for Timu is just somebody saying Timu is not a scam. Hence, I know Timu is a good company. Okay, Rack Hive's going down. This ain't too bad. This ain't too big of a challenge. Guys, Timu is not a scam. These sweatshops are real. I'm visiting one today. All your cheap junk you don't need from Timu is made right here. What the? Why is my... I just noticed because I went down and got racked a bunch. Why is my vibration on? Where's the stupid vibration option? Hello? It should be in gamepad, right? Where's the turn rumble off? Is there no rumble option? Why did my rumble get turned on when it wasn't on before? Is it an audio? No. There isn't a turn off rumble, huh? I must have had it like off with Steam somehow. I must have had it off somehow, because it's back on now. Please stop putting rumble on your controllers. I mean, you can put rumble on, it's fine. Just don't. I have spawn back here. Oh my god. Just don't make rumble non optional. I hate rumble. Rumble's so annoying. If your controller battery was under 50%, it turns off the rumble? Huh, maybe it was that. I'm not a controller rumble fan. You know, like HD rumble? Uh, not on an Xbox controller. I don't know if it's good on PlayStation, but uh, usually it just annoys me when my guy swings his sword and my controller goes <laughs> I'm like, stop, I'm just trying to play the game. Please don't vibrate my palms. Because whenever the controller rumble happens, I don't feel more immersed. Like, my brain isn't like, oh, the controller is rumbling because the gun is shooting. My brain is like, there's a stupid little motor inside my controller that's going and is, like, wasting a bunch of battery and pissing me off. It never immerses me. It just pisses me off and makes me annoyed. Bit of a scrooge when it comes to the old rumble pack. What, guys, I just, I just got back here. I just returned. Please leave me be. No! 
I want you to get a wired controller. It is wired. It's wired up right now. This thing has Bluetooth, but I don't use it because it's unreliable. It'll just randomly disconnect. Usually game consoles are pretty good. Like if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation, those are pretty good about the controller actually staying connected, but on PC for some reason, whenever you use a Bluetooth controller, there's like a million issues. It just never wants to work. So I usually just plug the wire in. Unless I'm feeling exceptionally lazy. Can you guys please not run away? Oh my God. This game sucks. Who made this game? Randy. Xbox doesn't use Bluetooth. They have a special radio connection wavelength. Yeah, well, whatever, whatever that is, it doesn't work too good on computer box. Whatever they're claiming is good is not good. Will you play the DLC? Probably not. I already went to the General Knox driving school one and got all the easy XP from that. Computer doesn't have that connection to first party Microsoft thing. Yeah, this controller has like a little dongle, I think. I'm pretty sure it's got a USB dongle. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Is this controller even connected? Maybe that's why I'm doing so bad. Guys, my controller is actually not plugged in. Actually, my controller was unplugged this whole time. So that's why I died to Rack Hive twice. While I'm complaining about Microsoft, I have a Windows Mixed Reality VR headset, which if you're saying to yourself, I've never heard of that in my life, exactly. But I got one of those and they discontinued support for it. They're like, nobody bought this except for one guy. Oboshu's Games is the only person that purchased this, so we're not gonna support it anymore. Come on! I'm trying to play no VR games because there aren't any good new ones, except Asgard's Wrath 2 apparently is pretty good. Apparently that's a good one. I'll probably never know. No VR Erbo stream, not for the foreseeable future. I mean, you can still use it, it's just the software is not updated. I played Half-Life Alex on it, it was good for that. It was fine. Because the cool people at Valve actually like, since they wanted Half-Life Alex to be like a good product, they actually made like Windows Mixed Reality headset support, like a thing for it, which most games just don't do. Setting up VR is already janky. And when you have to like rebind every control because you have a weird Windows controller, it makes it just that little bit worse. Two eyes down. You guys want to round the rock? Come on. What is their trajectory? Get out of here. Get him. There we go. All right, Rack Hive. Don't spawn more guys, please. I'm loving the pitter patter of the SMG. He spawned more guys. Okay. Go down, health bar. What do I gotta do? Shoot him in the crit spot or something? It's helping a little bit. I wonder if Rakai was at some point the final boss of the game, and they were like, yeah, this is no good. We gotta make a new final boss, and the final boss they didn't make sucks worse than Rakai. At least it has, like, some setup. At least the Destroyer... He's called the Destroyer, right? At least he has, like, some nice set dressing when you fight him. Okay, come on. 
We're just about there. We're on the home stretch. Don't make me run all the way back, please, game. Please, Randy, thank you. Thanks, Randall Pitchford. For once, you're my greatest friend. Yay, rack hive down, all right. Hope you guys like the SMG shooting sound. Yeah, Skyrim VR is good. I played Skyrim VR with it as well. Dude, it was really janky with Skyrim VR. Skyrim VR with 200 mods is like the best game ever though. I'm pretty sure I've said this before in previous streams slash uh, videos, but I played Skyrim VR like 100 mods and I was like, yeah, I mean, this is probably the best game ever. Like, I don't really know what game is better than Skyrim VR with 100 mods to make it actually good. It's pretty, pretty much the best game. It's kind of hard to compete with it. What's up, Stall Bengal? Stall Bengal? Woo! Stall Bengal! Stall Bengal in the house. Alright, if I just save quit, it'll be faster than running all the way back, right? But I risk the memory leak. I should have thought about that before I hit the exit button, but I didn't. Pandora's box, ew, gross. Get out of here, Randall. Look at that speedy save. Back to the underpass. Next is, uh, Old Haven, right? I do believe Old Haven is the next set of challenges the game throws my way. That's the wrong one. I want this one. I want the scooter machine. I hope they put in-game advertisements for the movie. If that comes out, oh, that'd be good. That would be just a little bit silly. Dude, I hope they have Kevin Hart. I hope they have Kevin Hart like dual-wielding assault rifles on the menu for all the old Borderlands games. That'll be great. Whatever you say, Clappy. I'm level like 29. Usually I'm like what, like 35, 36 if you do every side quest. That's how like leveled you are when you fight Destroyer. I can just throw the skill points on and grind the promontory if I'm really feeling down on the old HP. That's why you put in the work up front to do a million side quests. Because then once you get to the back half, you can skip a bunch of them. Except, those give you way more XP than the other ones did, so it's you probably should do them. But I'm not going to do a few of them. Not killing Slither, that's for sure. He's my favorite. Not killing that guy. What the heck was that? Was that a spider ant below me? It was. That was weird. It, that sound effect sounded weird. I don't know why. Maybe it was because it was like in a canyon or something. Wonder if the movie will have Borderlands golden key codes on the screen. That'd be hilarious. One of the loader bots has a key code on it. What song will they use for the Borderlands trailer? That's the question. They probably won't use No Rest for the Wicked. They should maybe use it. It could be good. They'll probably just use Lord. No Heaven? Nah, they won't use No Heaven. It's got to be something that's contemporarily popular. It's got to be something that was in Fortnite. Radioactive? I mean, it is a radioactive hellscape. It is a bit of a radiated planet, so maybe. Hello. No rest for the wicked slowed down orchestral. Radioactives for the Fallout show? Yeah, that's true. That is for the Fallout show. 
Oh no, they ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I can see it now, it's horrible. Oh, this is the Crimson Lance. Did I have a corrosion for them? I got this corrosive SMG that kind of sucks. It's like a 10% DPS loss, I think. It's got corrosion though, corrosion. That does good damage to your armor, apparently. Come back. You just got corrosived by the corrosive king. Yeah, I think the corrosive dot is helping. It's not not helping. Ow. From the side. From the side, no less. Oh, it's a huge guy. It's a guy who means business. I have no chance to beat this guy. He's too far away. Shouldn't even shot at him, to be honest. Yeah, taste my dot. Maybe my dot can get him, actually. Maybe. There's hope. There's hope. There's no hope. It's over. I was trying grabbing all the crap that's here. When you're in the neighborhood of New Haven, you might as well get all the New Haven side quests. Wow, jerks. How are they gonna retain a workforce if they kill all the bandits they hire? Didn't think of that, did you, Lance Corporal? There's one over here. Get out of here, Blitz the Shock Trooper. Has a deep cut. Any Blitz the Shock Trooper fans? Let me know in the comments if you remember Blitz the Shock Trooper. Lever pulled. That's one down. Ah, some peace and quiet. Never lasts long in New Haven, though. New Haven was supposed to be a haven, but nothing was new about it. White shotgun. Ugh. Where's the good loot at? Where has all the good loot gone? You got all your health back, didn't you, you jerk? That was mean. Oh, he can hit me from downtown? That's not good. That's not good at all. I hit him from uptown. What's uptown? Nothing much, how about you? Rocket launcher? He does. Uh oh, a dangerous foe to be sure. My SMG ammo pool is going down fairly rapidly. I'd say it's not good. It's not good how many shots I'm using here. I prefer to use a lot less. No, 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 no. There we go. All according to plan, Lance Infantry. Nice 
nice shield. Your shield really help you. Wish I had a shield. They should have a riot shield class in Borderlands. They do, it's called Athena. And she's probably the best class in pre-sequel. I don't know who the actual like best class in pre-sequel is, like DPS wise. I just know Athena is fun with that shield toss. You're welcome, Claptrap. Uh, where did it go? Smoke signal shut him down. There we go. Let's get the rest of these bad boys. There's one over here, isn't there? Yeah, there's one. Get him out of here. Athena and Claptrap are the best ones. I don't know how Claptrap can be the best one. I guess he could like randomly do a bunch of damage. They didn't do enough with the randomness in Claptrap pre-sequel, I feel like. Because like if, you, if the whole thing is like Claptrap is a character, what? Like make him go wacky crazy. He doesn't have enough effects for his like random effect thing. He's got like 10. They needed to have like at least like a hundred random effects you could have. As a stand, there's like not enough of them to make it like, whoa, this is so random, dude. This is so crazy. They didn't try hard enough. Look, there's the bandits they killed after they did their job for him. Ooh, that's a large guy. That's a Draugr Death Lord 9000 right there. No, 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 Never should have come here. That's a machine gun. That's a machine gun. Oh, you again. What's with these red guys? Get out of here. I like the better when Atlas is my best friend in Borderlands 3. Why did when Reese took over the Atlas company, their armor became lame? Their armor was cool. Even in Borderlands 2 when they were more of like a scrappy type guy. When it was just all the, the guards wear old Atlas armor. They still look cooler than the Borderlands 3 Atlas guys. The Borderlands 3 Atlas guys suck. They got no drip. Yeah, I'll grab this one real quick. Thank you for reminding me, game, by spawning me next to it. The game had to kill me to teach me a valuable lesson. When one man despawns, another respawns. That's a deep quote. Put that on the Call of Duty loading screen. When one man despawns, another respawns. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, come on. You shot me off the roof so I can't get him. That's lame. That was a little bit too effective of a tactic. Is this Clappy here yet? Doesn't he spawn after you do that one thing? I think I hear him. Dwight D. Spawn Eisenhower. Yep, that's his name. Anything good? Oh, a legendary shotgun. Whoa, I gotta buy it. It's legendary. It's legendary. Is it good? I don't know. Let's find out. It's legendary, though. Legendary blast. Legendary blast. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll take it. I love Borderlands one shotguns are so good. The rapid fire pump action cylindrical barrel. Ooh. Don't worry, Clappy. I'll get you after I check each individual locker. Ooh, Marcus figurine. Ooh, medkit. Why does this game even have medkits? It's weird. It's weird that you can like buy a medkit and like put it in your inventory. It's strange. Like, surely they discover during playtesting it does nothing. Like, yeah, it's a useless feature. It's one of those useless features they just, like, leave in. Because it makes the game seem like it has a little bit more depth. It's like, oh, there's, like, a med kit you can buy? That's kind of weird. I would never use that, but it is in here. 
future Borderlands games sand off all those rough edges to make it a silky smooth, streamlined FPS action experience. But the, those games don't have a dancing butt sign. The dancing butt sign is funny. I mean, they might have a dancing butt sign. They have that one guy where the side quest is shoot him in the butt with the butt plug gun. They have that guy. That was a very hilarious quest. If you wish to carry any amount of loot, you'll need a better backpack. Get out of here, shieldman. Shield be gone. Right, before I go to Baron Flint and his infernal contraption, let's go ahead and get the last smoke signal. Just to say we did. Just to say we cleared out the old haven. Dude, there, this is a huge haven. Honestly, like, there was a lot of people living in Old Haven, apparently. Did, like, everyone die? There's, like, ten people total in New Haven. I think everyone got killed horribly. Nah, no range option. Is there a guy around me? There's a guy over there. Can I get him? Can't even see him. They were the lucky ones, yeah, really. Oh, they're starting to respawn, I think. No rest for the wicked, indeed. Keep on screaming. Did you get the bandit treasure? Nah, I forgot where that is. Isn't it over here somewhere? Something. Yeah, there's the quest for it. What you guys' this thing? Is this worth doing? I mean, might as well. I already started the quest. I got 30% of it done. Might as well keep going. There's two. I want to get on that water pipe and walk along that pipe for a shortcut. That'd be fun. Be a good shortcut for the zone. Can I do a little bit of a barrel jump here? Oh, nope. No fun allowed. XVBNM, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to No Fun Allowed Streaming. In this stream, if you have a good time, you're banned. You're watching curmudgeon gaming. Curmudgeon's a pretty good word. I like the word curmudgeon. It's solid. I always think that's a smoke signal. I gotta turn off, but it's not. It's just the background skybox doing its thing. All right, strong box, let's find you. Hey, strong box, do you have a white shotgun? That's why I needed to sub. I had to make sure I wasn't enjoying myself too much by emptying my bank account. Yeah, there you go. If you're ever feeling like you're in a good mood, just come give old Obo Shoes Games $5.99. Then we'll see if you're still feeling good. Like, I like this guy. I'm going to subscribe to his stream. Then you subscribe. Then I say, oh, thank you so much, username. And you're like, oh, the dopamine from him saying username. And then when the dopamine's gone a minute later, you're like, oh, that was a waste of money. Guess I'll resubscribe for 36 months straight. In hopes of recapturing the initial high. Hello. Hello, Barry Londis. 
We're just talking about why subscribing to streamers is scams, and you should subscribe to Oboshu's games. What the? Why is it telling me to go to the Dale's headland? What are you doing, Border Man? Oh, it's the bandit stash, that's why. I forgot. Might as well. Dow oh, Headland, I thought I left you in the rear view mirror many a time ago. Many moons ago, I stopped caring about this barren land. What if I'm indifferent to the stream? Oh, you're in a state of apathy? Mm. Apathy's boring. You gotta love it or hate it. You can't just be like, yeah, it's fine. I'm indifferent. Love or hate every single thing. All right, bandits, what's your great treasure? What'd you guys get me? Ooh, okay, okay. A Savage Masher, that is pretty good. Level 31 though, I gotta get some more XP. I gotta pump some more experience into my veins to use that one. I am gonna go ahead and say that one was worth it though. I do love me a Savage Masher. I showed my dad your stranglehold video? What the heck? I don't think I've ever showed my parents a gaming video. I don't think I've ever, like, tried to show my dad a YouTube gaming video. I don't think that's ever happened. I might have showed him, like, the trailer for Call of Duty at some point, but, like, a funny gamer moments? I don't know. That's not his department, you know? Your mom hates Obo Shoes. Your mom hates Obo Shoes playing Dead Space. Oh, I can just fast travel instead of driving all the way there. Or can I? Let's see, it's by one of the bounty boards. Which bounty board is it by? I think it's this one. He loves Hong Kong action movies. Oh, that's why. Okay. So you you had a like a reason. I just like check out these funny gaming moments. That makes more sense. That makes more sense in context. What do they think of oboe content? Who my dad? My dad's like, I don't get it. My mom's like, I don't get it. Which is fine. And my grandfather, one time, he was like, so you make, you make like, guides for video games, right? You, like, make the guide to help them beat the level. And I was like, eh, not real. I kind of just, uh, I kind of just make fun of him. He's like, you, you, what? You just make fun of video games? On, that's what you do on your YouTube page? I'm like, yeah, I just, like, say Borderlands sucks. That's pretty much it. He's like, what? I thought you were like making helpful guides. I'm like, nah, they're not, they're not helpful. Nothing helpful about this. If anything is derogatory, if anything, it doesn't help. My goal is to put the audience in a foul mood. Oh, I didn't get the rocket car, whoops. The rocket car makes us go by a bit faster, as does him actually spawning his guys in. Come on, Baron. This guy's always taking 10 years to spawn his dudes in. Come on out. Come on out. There's one. 
Maybe the machine gun was good, actually. More sustained a DPS potential. Finally bought a PS5 today to play what? I still have no PS5 or Xbox Series, whatever. If Death Stranding 2, like I've said, if Death Stranding 2 is a PlayStation exclusive, then I'll get a PS5. That's pretty much the only reason I would get one at this point. Or if like Ace Combat was like a year exclusive. If Ace Combat was like PlayStation exclusive for a year, I would get it for that too. All right, come on cars. Love how they made a quest to kill four cars and the cars just don't show up. It's very excellent. Demon Souls and all the PS4 games never played. You're catching up because you played Xbox. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, PS4 has got good games. PS4 has got a real good library. Right, one more car, please, Baron. If you please. If it's not too much to ask, could you please give me one more motor vehicle? Oi, Governor, can I have one more Bandit Outrunner, please? I need a Bandit Outrunner, please. Please, sir. Please. There's one. Give me XP. I want to use my masher. I want to use my masher, Outrider. Sure have. How could I turn you away when you're so doggedly eager for death? Uh, there's a weapon part and a clappy on the other side of this, I think. Maybe I should have used that entrance. I do need XP for that masher. Can you get PS5s? You can get PS5s now. At least in USA you can. In USA, PS5s can now just be bought like at the store. They got them on the shelf at Walmart. Baron Flint reminds me of Walton Goggins from the hit Fallout TV show. Yeah, he kind of does have that vibe. Maybe they modeled it off of him, honestly. He's got a similar face. Thor infiltrated. Take that, Thor. I'm going to cause his Ragnarok. I gotta get a PS5 to play that God of War Ragnarok. I haven't played that one yet. When that game came out, I was like, maybe, maybe I'll try to get a PS5 and play that. Cause like, I like the first one enough, I guess, but I didn't care enough to get it. Oh, well. Hey, my dang arrow don't stop light up. Come on, arrow. Illuminate the world. All right, coming out weird, guys. One of my friends affectionately calls these two weird psychos this one Butt Cheek and Butt Cheek Jr. That's been their names since middle school. They never did shake those nicknames after the incident in the cafeteria. All right, bring him out. Come on. Let's see him. Baron Flint, your audio mixing, I can't hear you. I can't hear because the audio mixing on your dialogue was bad. They could have maybe fixed that in the definitive version of the game, but you know, that's asking a lot. They dedicate most of their resources to putting ads on the homepage. All right, bring them out. Not them, not these guys. Hans and Franz from SNL. Are they an SNL reference? Is that what they're referencing? Is there a Saturday Night Live bit about Hans and Franz? Does anyone watch Saturday Night Live? Has anybody seen that show? What is that show even doing these days? I think that's where they're from. Okay, hilarious.
This must have been back from the old days of SNL. His new SNL just fails to understand what TikTok is. They were a recurring bit in the 90s. All right, there you go. Back when SNL held any cultural sway. Not these days. SNL is like Simpsons and Family Guy now. It's like, what are you? Why is it still going? What are you guys doing? Like, like twice a year, SNL has a good skit, and the rest of the time, you're just like, what is this? Because like sometimes YouTube will recommend me an SNL thing. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch it, and I'm like, that sucked. They just been. That format is just so dated now that like YouTube, one guy in his room filming shot reverse shot TikToks exists. It just can't compete. Like when they actually have a set, when they have a set and crap and like it's like an actual video, they can make some good stuff with that. But when it's like live, when they're in their live like sketches, those are just like, oh man, those are pretty brutal. But when they make like an edited video and like that turns out to be good, it's like, okay, but that could just, that's not like only SNL could have made this one. It's just like a oh, YouTube video. That's pretty good. As we all know, the best SNL skit is the Weezer skit. That's the only good one. Can I go through that crack? Oh, I can? Wow, look at that hitbox. That's a nice hitbox you got there, Randy. I appreciate it. Then it's no longer live? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they make a good just video, it's like, what was the point of this being on SNL? If it's just like a funny video you made. Need more shotgun ammo for this guy. Did I even buy the shotgun SDU? I might not have. It could be the source of my consternation. Is there an ammo box around here? Hey, Fall Hunter, I need some more bullets. That is just Saturday night, yeah. From New York, it's Saturday night. Some guy is here. He's in a new movie, so he'll be in all today's sketches. Will that improve the quality of them? <laughs> what do you think? All right, Baron Flint, your guy dropped me a weird looking gun that has good stats. Time to repay you in turn. Ooh, this thing is good. This is a good one. This is a real good one, what the heck? This thing has got it where it counts. Come back, smallman. Come back and face my wrath. Oh, he's blocking the guy I'm trying to kill. Come on, Baron. Hey, there we go. Big go. Okay, and the rockets got me still. Who's Line is better than SNL? Agreed, although I haven't watched Who's Line in years. I only watch like old Who's Line on YouTube. I know they, pro they probably have some sort of a current iteration of it. I have no idea. Get this guy out of town. Thank you. Thanks for your speedrunner special. Alrighty, let's go ahead and hit A on the vault key. That should wrap the old campaign up. That was a good playthrough of Borderlands, but now that I have the vault key, I can finally put this one in the books. It's gone! Oh, Commandant Steel! Oh, I was betrayed by Tannis. I can't believe she stole my vault key. She used you to get what she wanted. That jerk stole my vault key. There's only one response to this. 
become best friends and have her be a vendor in the second and third game of the franchise. Just a little bit more XP for that masher. I might go for it. I might go for those weapon parts down here. The best SNL is a Norm MacDonald hosted after they fired him. Yeah, that was pretty good. When he's like, either I'm not funny or this show sucks or something like that. A classic line. Give me your XP, Lance Defender. Just a little bit more XP. Just need a little bit more, like one quest, like one quest worth. Just like one quest worth of XP lands. That's all I need. I hate to trouble you. I hate to bother you, but it's just one quest. Just one little quest. What the hell is going on? I'm not sure. Yeah, it sounds like a war zone. Oh wow, that was really good. It's a war zone out there, says Lady. Can you see me? And if you go back to New Haven right now, nothing is happening. It's just going like bow, 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 and that guy's like, "Hey, you hear when the war's gonna come back on?" The vault can only be opened every that one audio log is trying to make you think there's chaos across the planet, but there ain't. There's no chaos because the player could do the quest out of order, so you can't meaningfully change the world state. What is this, the only impressive part of Starfield, which is when New Atlantis got destroyed? And then it happened again, and I was like, oh. When a uh, space dragonborn guy like attacked New Atlantis, and then it went like lockdown, but I'm like, that's pretty cool, actually. That's, that's pretty good. And then when you play the Terra Morph one, they just do it again, and it's like, oh. They just did it twice, okay. They, mo they must have made one of them first, and be like, oh, this is great, dude. We gotta use this again, this is awesome. This is a really cool moment. Uh, let's just use it again. Sir, I think the thing that makes it cool is the fact that it happens like one time per playthrough. Nah, just use it twice. Just do it two times. Where's this claptrap at? Come here, claptrap. I wish to help you in your endeavors. Isn't there always chaos across a planet? Yeah, that's a good point. In Borderlands, the planet is never non-chaotic. But now the Crimson Lance is here causing chaos. That's how you know it's bad. It's always the Purge 24-7 on Pandora. You mentioned Ace Combat? Yeah, I'm, I'm known as a bit of an Ace Combat enjoyer. Just a little bit. Took me a long time to fix the graphics in Ace Combat 7 to see things? Hmm. I don't know if I've heard that one before. Like, the because it was blurry? Because of the anti-aliasing? Because of the square? Because the UI was too small? Where's the car spawner? Oh, it's all the way over there. On the other side of the fence. Let's take the long route. Let's take the scenic route. Took the scenic route, eh? Looks like a bionicle piece right there. That's half of several bionicle pieces. Welcome to car land, where the cars are yours. Gotta go. Chicken wings to fry. All right. Don't eat my chicken wings. We know, because they'll turn you giant. What? No, because they're mine. And they good.
the only way children can survive on the chaotic planet of Pandora is if they're insufferable. Because the bandits are like, all right, we pretty much shot all the children in this whole planet. What about Tiny Tina? Ah, dude, I hate her. She's so annoying. Yeah, it's true. She is really annoying. I don't really feel like going and talking to her. We'll kill her parents, though. Make sure you have the audio log recording. That way she can get vengeance. All right, the back door. Bit of a useless area here. This is not one that they're gonna write home about. They will not sing songs about the back door in Borderlands 1 in Sovngarde. Dude, imagine if Sovngarde was your afterlife. It's just like a kinda nice field and then a mead hall with a very large precarious bridge. Yeah, so, you know, for the rest of your life, you're just gonna be, like, chillin' with Skyrim NPCs that have two voice lines. Oh my god, a High King Torig and Yorland Windcaller. You guys are, like, extremely important to the story. Do you have more than three things to say ever? Nope. Need something? Which version is better, Shot Crystal Cave or this one? Obviously Shot Crystal Cave, because it has stuff to do. This is like a pointless padding filler cave. It does nothing. With PS4 Ace Combat 7, the screen was too bright. And the Justice System video setting to compensate. Huh, that's weird. I've never heard that complaint in my life before. I'm not saying it's not valid, it's just a weird thing. Thank you for the rocket launchers I will never use. I will sell you some mashers. Ah, I might keep that sniper. Can't sell the elephant gun, of course. Wouldn't dream of it. Better shields, better shields. Eh, not really. Masher time. I do love mashers. All right, Fox McLeod, bring it on. It was a trick. It was an arena this whole time. It was Freud Rage Psycho this whole time. We should have known. I should stand behind a crate. I always go to that door and die. A crate is a better place to stand, typically. Master McLeod. That guy's in charge. Oh, this is a slow firing masher. I think it's lethargic. He's moving at a glacial pace. We're just gonna corrode these guys, I think. He thinks corrosion is more effective. Can I get him? Can I do it? Thank you, corrosion dot. You're my favorite. I wish his turret would go away. Because his iridium gun sucks. The turret is just doing damage. Did he die? He didn't die because I didn't get back up. The turret died though and I heard a yell. I heard a pained yell. Was it just him taking damage? I suppose so. The further away you are from this guy, the easier it is to kill him because his shots are so slow. That's how they trick you. They trick you by making you run up to him to spawn him in. Very clever, Randy. Nice scheme. Pew, 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 pew. Thank you very much for your ball blaster. Now here's a real map. This is a real map. Bye bye shotgun rounds. Yeah, I got him good. Methinks the shotgun will come in handy for this part. 
bit of a close quarter scenario. Wish it held more rounds. Ooh, turret. You okay, Claptraps? Yeah, might as well help Claptrap, it's easy. This is before Claptrap is insufferable. This is back when Claptrap was just a chill guy that was kinda cool. The kinda buy you kinda guy you would buy an action figure of at GameStop. After Borderlands 2, you definitely wouldn't buy a Claptrap action figure from GameStop. This is back in his pre-Funko era. Just a funny little robot. Yeah, it's a funny little robot with a tragic backstory. If you want to cry your eyes out, look up the reason why Claptrap likes dancing. The story is told through a comic, and boy, does it make me bawl every time. It's so sad that Alexa plays Despacito when you read it. That's an ancient meme. That's a that's a crusty old meme. Alexa, play Despacito. Ha 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 ha. Who would have thought some guy who's still playing Borderlands 1 in 2023 slash 2024 would have a bit of an outdated meme reference? I always jump after finishing quests as I spam the A button. Can anyone else relate? It's a quirky thing I do, like collecting sandwiches in Starfield. That's so quirky that I do that. Hello, Tannis, you're in jail. You've been imprisoned. Life on the inside. One like equals one sad crying emoji. Ah, that was so close. I always get turned around in this dumb place. Where are we going? I gotta go to the one like turret hallway. There's a turret hallway somewhere around here. Do you guys have it? It's pretty quiet in here for their base. For the base of operations, it's not too loud. That was the wrong way. That was completely the wrong way. I'll take the chest, Clappy. I'll take that. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have taken that. Bit of a waste of my time. Is this the weird shortcut one? Keep getting garbage. I mean, I did get a masher and the legendary shotgun back to back. So that's kind of my good loot RNG for the rest of this run, I think. Fair enough. But the masher who shoots kind of slow. It's not, I'm not impressed. To be honest. Not impressed by my navigational abilities either. Where am I going? Yeah, there's Tannis. Ah, here we go. Here's the path forward. Machine gun. Ah, hope oh, didn't work. Why? Laments Mordecai after walking in front of a Gatling gun. What could it have been? If only there was some way to prevent this tragedy. Reactivate the three relay things. There's not one or two of them. Oh, 
Open up army, guys. Eh. 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 There's a job for corrosion, methinks. I'm gonna need some corrosive crits. Ah, come on. From around the corner. The corner store. Scorpio? Maybe Scorpio? You wanna die Scorpio turret? That one has a lot of health. That's a healthy turret. Oh, look at that. A free chest for my troubles. And here I thought dying had no upsides. You better not be better my legendary. Okay, good. It's worse. It's much, much worse. I don't want to find new loot if it means my old loot's not as good. Ooh. Nah, I have a new grenade, why not? Ancient impeccable space bar, space bar transfusion. Not an impeccable job proofreading their type on that one, am I right? What, they programmed this game on a 1920s typewriter or something? Put your arm shield down. Don't have that. That irritates me. All right, come on, shotgun. I'm counting on you. Oh, it's a different one, dang it. They swish a rude me. They swapped me. This is not very effective gameplay. These guys don't even have shields. So shoot through shields wouldn't even be good on them. I went the wrong way, I think. I think I gotta go down here. Yep. Don't mind me, corpses of the vanquished. I'm just passing through to get vanquished myself, actually. Be joining you soon. Now we have a real battle. Now that I'm really far away, we're gonna have a real battle. Oh, they're shooting me through the fence, through the fence, come on. Not the best offense was a good defense. Get him, corrosion dot. Show him who's boss. Oh, I bounced off, dang it. Go around the corner. There we go. That's kind of what I wanted. I think one of them died. I got a good chunk of XP. This is what happens when you're under leveled. This is why you should do those 50 side quests I skipped. There's a reason they're there. There we go, okay. Now we will meet the Iridians, and when the Iridians are met, it is time. It is finally time to buy the single skill which I need. Embrace yourselves, this content may be shocking and upsetting to some viewers. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. All right, where is it? Where's Shooter's Shield down there? Yeah, let's see, uh. Ah. 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 That was horrible. That was the most horrible thing I've seen. Must be in the wrong stream. Yeah, this, this is this is a no bow shoes game. She just spent seal points on something. This is some kind of a fake broadcast, I think. This isn't real. Shoot through shield plus rapid fire equals Iridian's need to retire. So big. A great ability for this final stretch of the game. Because playing as Lilith is good because you can run real fast. 
and get that SMG damage going. But Mordecai does make this part of the game a breeze. If you're gonna play this in co-op with one other person, one should be Lilith. The person who knows where to turn the quest in should be Lilith, and the other person should be Mordecai. So just kind of chew through this part real quick. All right, loud sound effect, ready? Ready for the remastered edition of really loud sound effects I didn't fix? Here we go. Thanks, Randy. You could just, it would take them like one second to fix that probably, like literally one second. So they just didn't do it. Why bother? I already bought the remaster, they're not gonna make any more money off me for fixing it. Turn green. Face the wrath of my corrosion. This guy's shield is in a bad spot. My bullets aren't going through. Dude, just get slain. Just get slain. He was so close. He probably died one second after I respawned. Gotta run all the way back over. He's one, he's one. I'm Atlas, I'm Atlas. He's Masher, he's Masher. How's that new Adam Smasher boss fight in Cyberpunk? I played when uh, Phantom Liberty came out. That like a month after Phantom Liberty came out, they're like, joke's on you, here's another huge update after Phantom Liberty. And it's like, oh, I wish I would I wish you just would have released that when Phantom Liberty came out so I could have played with those new features, but now I'm never gonna see them. They claim they made Adam Smasher like an actual boss fight. I gotta watch that on YouTube, because when I played Phantom Liberty when it came out, it took like one second to kill that guy. That guy sucks. The max tack people in Phantom Liberty were harder than Adam Smasher. And those guys had a stupid gimmick where Idris Elba just kills them for you. Spoiler! They're like, all right, V, you're finally gonna fight Max Tack. And it's like, ooh, I wanna fight Max Tack. That'll be fun. And then Idris Elba's like, oh, by the way, we're afraid that uh, players won't actually be able to beat Max Tack because you have to try a little bit. So I'm just gonna beat them for you. And you're like, oh, it's kinda, it kinda sucks. So I had to spawn them myself by getting five stars in the open world the way God intended. The way it's meant to be played. One transmitter down, two to go. And then I will face the ultimate foe. A really steep mountain. Is it a rainbow gun or are my eyes wrong? I think your eyes are wrong. I don't believe there's rainbow guns in this one. Borderlands 2 has that honor. on Lance you're not even mounted you're not even on a horse why are you called Lance if you're not on a Pony Express beyond blisses you've got dancer and prancer and blitz the shock trooper that guy means business. We've got a business guy. Hmm. My strategy of face tanking the damage seems to have not been quite effective. And I hate it when they mean business. I like it when they're here just for fun. You kept saying the word obby in a video recently. What does that mean? Uh, if you're of a if you're of a Minecraft type age, 
I mean like when Minecraft came out, you might know it as a jumping puzzle. It just means obstacle course as far as I know. I'm saying as far as I know, because I could be wrong. I very well could be wrong about terminology, but I'm pretty sure that Obby is just like a jumping course in Roblox slash Fortnite slash Minecraft. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I gotta stay up to date on all those skibbity slang terms. Cause saying obstacle course is too much. Why were they called jumping puzzles back in Minecraft? Like back when Minecraft first came out and custom maps for Minecraft started getting made, they were called jumping puzzles. They weren't really puzzles. You were never like confused at where to go. It was just like a text, a test of dexterity. It's parkour, yeah, Roblox parkour where you like jump on some floating cubes. That's what parkour has been reduced to. Back in my day, we had Mirror's Edge. And then Mirror's Edge 2, which never played. Was that one good? I don't know. It was also hardcore parkour. Yeah, when there was ladders on the side of it, that's when it's hardcore parkour. When the Minecraft jumping puzzle had a ladder on the side of the block and you had to like jump and hit the side and grab the ladder, that's when it was hardcore parkour. Those were tough. Mirror's Edge 2 is not better. Mm. Is it good though? I know it got a less glowing reception than the first one did. I'm out of ammo with the shotgun. What? How'd this happen? Somebody didn't buy enough ammo at the store. All right, Iridians, I'll deal with you first this time. Won't make the same mistake again. I won't be fooled again. Hang on, I'll be right with you, Lance. There we go. Another turret. At least that one wasn't that loud. I guess only that one is loud. That one has the alert. Almost done with this place. This place looks kind of cool. Like it has a cool look and the map layout is kind of cool. It does feel kind of filler though. It does feel like once the vault key has been stolen, it should be like a rush to the finish, but it's not because you gotta do all this stuff. As far as filler areas go, this is one of the better ones, I think. At least it looks kind of nice. What quest do I have to turn in there down there? I got a green question mark down there. What quest did I turn in? I didn't turn in that one. Oh, I turned it into Tannis. Okay, well, I'll be meeting her shortly. Stop shooting at me, guys, come on. I'm just gonna mash you. Congratulations, you've been mashed. You've been turned to potatoes. That guy respawned, get out of here. Get out of here, Sarah. Are you a legendary? Wow, I didn't even notice that. There's a legendary gun just lying on the floor. I didn't pick it up. Kinda sucks. Highly effective versus flesh. Good thing there's like no flesh enemies in the remainder of this campaign. I might equip it, I might throw it on. Hey, 
It has regening ammo. Does it have regening ammo? Hang on, it might be the best gun ever. It might just be the best. Let's replace the masher. Screw it. This guy's playing Mordecai, and he has a masher, and he's not using it. This is a pistol. It still counts. Ew, that's gross. That's a gross sight. Is it good? I mean, these guys aren't particularly fire. Uh, you know, they don't really care about fire, so not the best test subjects. Kablamo. Alright, Tannis, I'm back. I did your quest. Do I even let her out of the cage? Does the cage door even open? Alright, Commandant. Steal your resolve, Commandant. Yes, thank you, Tannis. Thank you for that quest that interrupts my sprinting to this door every time. Every single time I run to that door. Bloop. Interruption. Yeah, I might let Tannis out of the cage, but then again, she's been doing just fine. Isn't that in Fortnite? I think that's a Fortnite song, is it not? Why did I do that? Jealousy, play Fortnite on my PC. Harmonix CEO did an interview and they were like, we're gonna make Fortnite Festival the best game ever. And Harmonix is not making controllers, but other companies are. I guess they just like license that to somebody else. Like it's not a Harmonix brand, it's like some random peripheral brand. But new Guitar Hero controllers are being made in 2024. Which is amazing. I love that. I will buy one. That's one of the best things Fortnite has done recently, is get Guitar Hero controllers back in production. They gotta add an actual vocals mode for their festival, though, because right now in festival, the vocals is just like a normal Guitar Hero track. That sucks. And, like, everyone has a mic. No one doesn't have a mic these days. Nobody doesn't have one. They're rock band controllers. Microsoft owns Guitar Hero now. Oh, yeah, because Activision. Eh, who's going to call them rock band controllers? They're, I mean, the drums, I guess the drums and the mic and the keyboard, those are rock band controllers. But the guitar, come on, the guitar is a Guitar Hero controller. That's just what it is. Was there a car spawner back there I could have made use of? I think there's one over here. Ah, the Echo Network is back on. I'm guessing we have you. I think they said they're making new drums too. Good. They should just make new everything. Is there a good uh not clone hero yet? Is there a good rock band version of clone hero? Because clone hero is a good guitar hero. Is there a good rock band clone though? Or like you could drag out your computer, like drag out your laptop and hook it up and play it with four friends. Because Clone Hero is like, you want to play the guitar, right? It's like, I want to do, like, the vocals and drums. And they're like, eh, do you, though? Do you really? Angel, I'm trying to talk about Rock Band. Come on. Sweet Life on Deck HD. Oh, hey, oh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, hey, oh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, hey, oh. Come along with me and subscribe to me. Bobo Shoes Games on your PC. Sweet Life on Deck was okay. The original was definitely better, though. When they're in the hotel. The hotel one was definitely better than On Deck. 
can we at least agree on that? In today's divided times, can we at least agree that the hotel suite life was better than the boat suite life? Not even saying the boat suite life was bad, just the hotel was better. The hourglass is on the last Clone Hero has multiplayer with vocals and drums, huh? Okay. Last time I played it like two years ago, they didn't. You mean things aren't stagnant? You mean things are always changing? Why can't things always stay the same as when I like them? Hope 2024 is a year of Weezer Cruise 2.0. I hope it is too. If there ever is another Weezer Cruise, I kind of have to go. I can al I can almost justify writing off a Weezer Cruise as like a business expense. I'm almost that deep. Maybe it, it would. I would have to get like a, a fake account. I would have to get like a Saul Goodman accountant, but I could try. First channel meetup. The first channel meetup is on the Weezer Cruise 2024. Hello, I was just watching clips of Handsome Jack being iconic for 20 minutes. God, this pretzel suck. That's his iconic line, right? And then he says, he's a famous man. Do a Caffeine Man style cruise review? Oh, if they had one, I would. If they had a Weezer cruise, I would go and make a vlog. I would invite Caffeine Man. But like, Caffeine Man, come on the Weezer cruise. He'd be like, what? I only go on old people cruises. I only go on old people cruises, Obo Shoes. I don't go on the Weezer cruise. I'm like, but Caffeine Man, the Weezer cruise is an old person cruise. He'd be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize that the Blue Album is like 30 years old. Ah, someone should have told me that the passage of time. No one informed me. What does that say? Does it say it says something? It is text. Can I read this? Do I have what it takes? I see they got me. Dead? Death? Death something. Is it a font? That's not a font. There's no way that's a font. Need a sniper scope, hang on. Gotta investigate further. Oh, look at that perfect scope. Death is. It's death is something. Death is something only. Home? Death is the only, death is the only way home they got me. I got it. Death is the only way home. I think it says Lustuation Bay. What the heck does that hoodie say, dude? We will never know. We will never know what the Kane and Lynch hoodie says. People still comment on that video like, dude, the hoodie clearly says Australia Day. You're stupid. It's like, no, it doesn't. Because if it said Australia Day, I would have figured that out in like one second. The thing that makes it so weird is that it clearly should say Australia Day, but it also, when you analyze it, it does not say Australia Day. That's not what that thing says. That's what makes it so weird. That's what causes the anomaly. I've done the research and I have not found a satisfying conclusion. All right, let's top of the ammo off before we head through the old promontory. The promontory is known to filter out players who aren't dedicated to killing really, 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 really big bullet sponges. Life hack, you can just listen to default wind sound effect and use the Mordecai skill to win for free. I was playing Warhammer 3 and one of the lords is named Go Rock. Makes me think of Bo Rocks. There probably is a Go Rock. Because there's Bo Rocks for all different elements. It never got made into an official set. 
probably is a go rock somewhere out there. Waiting to be built. Go rock, the go bo rock. Able to play the board game go with his claws. Go rock, go rock, go rock, go rock, go rock. I just this is a bit of a bit of a madness combat situation here. Hang on. We gotta get things under control, Principal Guardian. We gotta get things under control, Principal Guardian. What am I hitting? There we go. Where's that shotgun at? There it is. That's what you wanna see. That's the good stuff right there. Chewing through him, chowing down. Ah, the artillerist. Shoot at me from a distance, why don't you? Get out of here. Okay, that's one slain. That's like the first encounter. There are many more to come. These guys are more teal than I remember. I don't remember them being teal at all. I thought they were like gray. I knew they were purple. Didn't remember the teal part. I guess it's just the super duper guys. I guess just them is the teal guys. I should make a Lego Iridian. Border Onicles? The Borderlands Bionicles Chronicles. This bridge should collapse when you walk on it. That'd be funny. I'd be like, whoa! It would throw me for a loop. They've been lanced. A purple? Eh, terrible matador. Terrible is right. That ain't the gun for me, I'm afraid. Principal Guardian, the music stopped playing. The combat music stopped and it became delightful ambience to relax and study to. Bring back the combat song. Bring back the... I love this Mordecai skill so much. It's a great skill. Truly excellent. There's default wind sound effect again. That was fast. That was with like three minutes in between its occurrences. Lance defender, but you're on the offense. How can you say you're on defense if you're walking up a mountain shooting stuff? I guess he is defending Commandant Steel. I guess Commandant Steel is already at the top of the mountain somehow. I guess he got past all the guardians. Maybe the guardians weren't awoken until after she tread on their territory. Like once she got near the vault, they turned on. Ah, nice and calm. It's like being on top of High Hrothgar. Time to learn Whirlwind Sprint. Come back. He was trying to flee. Trying to flee is just desserts. Come on, not terrible Matador. Give me something good. It's your last chance, Borderlands. Ooh, okay, Borderlands. I said it was your last chance to give me a good gun and you did not disappoint. They're just better than the one I currently have. Get this crap out of here. Come to Papa. Is it good? This <laughs> is just not that good. I mean, it's not amazing. I'll use it though. Gotta use legendary guns. You gotta brag to your friends. Dude, legendary! You gotta say that in the voice call. Make him jealous. Even if the legendary is not that good. Oh, this is pretty good. This is not bad. 
Weird shooting sound, though. The shooting sound sucks. Time to talk to Charles Martinet. Mm-hmm. Dovakin. I am no longer Mario. I am Mario Ambassador Dovakin. Let's -a go. Download the Parthenax Dilemma mod, Dovakin. Tell Delphine she is stupid, Dovakin. I just finished this game the other day. Well. Epic game? It is an epic game. This is one of those games that came out and everyone's like, well, you, you can put Diablo and guns? You can have a Diablo gun game and it'll sell well? Because there, there were a few Diablo gun type things, but they were like, you can make a Diablo gun and it'll sell a million copies? Okay, well. Well, games industry, good news. We're making Diablo guns for the next 15 years. It will never stop. One of those games that set the ball in motion. Set the stone turning. All right, the destroyer. Let's see how tough this guy really is. I got several legendary guns. I got two legendaries on me. This guy's chump chain. This guy sucks. Wow, Borderlands? is like Diablo with guns. That's a great idea. We should copy it and make it worse. We should just do that for the next 50 years of the games industry. What do you guys think? You guys down for that? Sergeant, get your troops ready to get killed by a tentacle arm. Copy that, ma'am. I'm ready to go. All right, good. I'll take the lead, follow in my footsteps. Ah! Until the advent of the Dolman type game, yeah. It's true. Dolman really showed him how it's done. Everybody says Dark Souls invented Souls likes. It's like, uh, hello, guys. Dolman came out like 10 years after Dark Souls. Clearly, Dolman is responsible. We had a lot of fun remastering the boss fight at the end of the game, said Randy, lying through his teeth on stage. I'm pretty sure his weird rat guys weren't here in the original. That's about it. It's like the only change they made. Randy really got on a stage and said, so the boss fight for Borderlands 1, people didn't think it was that good, so we, we've definitely uh, we've definitely fixed it and made it into a cool fight now. Wanna watch my magic trick? The greatest trick I ever pulled was convincing you to buy this. I bought it. That is tanky? Well, I mean, it's the final boss, so you know. It should be a little bit tanky. It is the last guy you fight. Out of bullets, uh-oh. Did they put a bullet store here? They did not, they should've. They probably should've. Wouldn't hurt. Right, give me one of those weird wispy racks. Give me one of those guys, there we go. Where's a tentacle you can just stand behind and punch? If you don't feel like going for a crit, you just stand here as a brick and punch him to death. He really spawns cover for you. What a swell guy. This guy looks like Hermaeus Mora. Hello, Dragonborn. You can't skip my dialogue. Be gone, destroyer. I want to destroy your sweater. Whoa, whoa, oh, bad ammo, hang on. Whoa, 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 spray and pray. 
Bingo, Borderlands 1 complete. On time, under budget. My yearly Borderlands 1 playthrough is in the books at last. I should just play it again right now. I should just play it again at the like January 1st, 2024. You'd be like, all right, that was my 2024 playthrough. Hope you guys like 10 hours of Borderlands 1 VODs. Coming up next, we have 10 hours of Borderlands 1 VODs. And your actions haven't gone unrewarded. The key won't open the vault for another 200 years. The curse is lifted for another year. Might the curse is staved off. The inevitable is prevented. Angle was a robot this whole time? I don't care. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. That's a pretty good song, like that song. All right, here we go. Gearbox guns. Which gearbox guns will I get? If I get the pistol, then 2024 will be a great year for everybody watching. But if I get the rocket launcher, it's gonna, it's not gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be real bad. Oh no, oh man, 2024 is gonna suck. I'm so sorry.